Hi there. So what I'm going to do in this video, it is it is GIS orientated in, in, in that I'm going to bring data from a storage account in Azure into QGIS uh, and therefore into any um, GIS because um, the main thing we're going to do is create a, a sort of network file share, a, a, um, a server message block protocol um, network file, file sharing environment. Uh, so I'm going to create uh, effectively a drive on my Windows Explorer, let's say drive A for Azure, that will point back to a storage account in Azure. Um, uh, and so I can take advantage of all the power of Azure um, and treat it just like a, um, as if it's some magical USB drives plugged in, but actually it's on the network uh, in the Azure cloud. Uh, so I'm gonna kind of start from the beginning with, with Azure, so, but this isn't an Azure training video. Um, it will show you how to set up a storage account uh, very, very basically, and um, and obviously I'm 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 not one hundred percent adhering, shall we say, to <laughs> all security, cyber protocols, etc. Uh, so, you know, security strategy and that and that sort of thing. So the, the security is, is is a big thing that needs to be seriously considered when doing th uh, things like this. That I'm going to be doing, um, and. Um, I'm using a just a trial account, so everything I'm doing here is totally free to do. Um, so you can dive right in and have a play. So I want a storage account. I, w I want, let's say, 10 gig um, in, in the cloud. So I'm in Microsoft Azure. I go to storage accounts. I'll create a new one. It's, see, my subscription is free trial. Um, uh, I'm, I'm, you know, just, just on the free one, obviously. Um, but you might have, um, um, you know, some some um, MSDM one or whatever it is um, in there yourself. Uh, everything has to be associated with a resource group. Um, you sort of put put things in in resource. I'm I'm, I'm not going to dive too much of that. I'm just going to call it testing. Um, and everything that's to do with with what I'm doing here, testing and sample or demo and all that sort of thing, I'm, I'm going to put in that resource group. Storage account name. Uh, see, I've done it before a few times. Um, so um, oh, let's choose what I've typed there before we go. Test as a Gisco storage that just rolls off the tongue. Um, and uh, so you give it a name. It can be anything. Uh, note when you hover, um, you know, over these information, um, these eyes. Um, it will give you lots of decent information. It's just standard. Um, I'm not, I, I don't think you have much choice that, that goes on with with a free trial about where your region is, where the things physically located. But again, I'm not I'm not fussed really about it. This isn't a mission critical real time solution, um, or, or anything. And um, account time, yeah, account kind. Sorry, yeah, it's just standard general purpose. You know, reading, writing, and and make use of uh, latest Azure features and paraphernalia, that's why it's V2. Uh, replication, actually um, uh, the cheapest, I think, is just locally redundant. So that just means, you know, it's just been, hand the whole thing is, ju is just sort of hand handled on the local um, device, where it is, wherever it is. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not sort of um, effectively replicating the data across uh, you know, two continents or something. You know, I'm, I'm, this data is nothing. It's, it doesn't matter. Um, in fact, I don't even care about replication. Um, but you, as you can see, there are things to consider, but only really when you're talking about a production system, uh, and you and you should have a proper design when you do this, um, uh, and um, or at least proper architecture. Uh, so network connectivity, yeah, it's it's just um, I'm going to accept all the defaults. Again, this isn't a um, data protection, not, not bothered about any of that. You know, th this is not a, a, a teaching session. There's 101 videos, it's much better than what I'm doing here. Uh, this is just to get you cracking and uh, it will work um, and work decently, but it's just to get you cracking. Um, uh, again, all the defaults, again, there's nothing, look them up yourself if you're bothered. You can put tags in and stuff, but I'm, I'm not, um, not even gonna bother with all that. So I review and create. Gives you a little overview of what's going to happen. That's great. So, so this is a storage account that I'm creating, and then under this account, I will create my file shares. So you can imagine it sort of like that. And that bell up there—that's probably telling me it's 
been deploying. Yeah. So it gives you a nice message there. Deployment, deployment easier for me to say, in progress. Um, and what's our name? So accepted. The job's been handed over. And the deployment is in progress. It now says deployment is complete. That's, that's great. It clarifies that this is a free trial and what resource group it was put in. Let's go to the resource. So this is where we, we make the magic happen. Uh, lots of things here. Have a play yourself and watch Azure based videos, not a GIS one um, for more info. Um, so go to file share. That's what you want. And I don't have any. Let's make one. Let's create a file share. Let's make the name. Let's call this, um, I don't know, um, how about Jisco uh, File Share. All right. Um, actually, let's put AZ at the beginning. Azure, Azure Jisco File Share. Let's uh, just set it for one gig purely for um, just to limit it a bit. A little, little demo. Uh, so that name really can be anything um, that makes sense to yourself. Let's create it. It tells me it's successfully created. Good eight. And here it, here it is. Okay. So that's the file share, and that's what we connect to. So what I'll do now, so you have to imagine that as your sort of disk. So in here, I'm going to create a directory and call it my GIS data. See, it says add directory. And then in my GIS data I'm going to upload now there is an Azure storage explorer tool you can download installed on your machine and that gives a nice Windows Explorer Explorer type interface to everything about um, storage Azure storage um, definitely worth using if you're using um, you know if you're using in, in angst so if I go to it you see this is what it looks like if you're using in angst then um, let's just refresh then um, uh, it's a it's a really good way to, to manage it. If I click on it and go to file shares, you see it has a Z just go file share in there, and there's my just data. So it's working absolutely decent. There's nothing in there, and I could upload using Azure as a um, storage explorer, or I could use the upload here. You see, so what the heck? Let's upload from here. Let's upload folder. Oh, sorry. Upload files. Uh, it's going to my just data and let's do um, actually we won't bother with the XML we won't, uh, it's battlefields good old battlefields I do like those upload so this is the historic England data so they've they popped in to the storage explorer so like I said this is a download tool you can use um, but again if we just hit F5 my just data you'll see battlefields so that's all, that's all there so you can imagine this very much as oh I'm, this is the sort of disk this is what I want plugged into QGIS so but how do you do that well let's, I think this is reminding me 150 pounds worth of, of free credit there nice so how does how does how do you, how do you get to my just data well so when when you're here you can see my just data and I want to connect to this. This is actually what is the data to be sh shared in QDIS or in Map Info or in ArcGIS um, Pro or whatever. I hit the connect button. And so now what you can do is, is select a drive letter. So let's go with, I don't know, um, drive T. Um, so I'll click on T and, um, and it's on Windows obviously. And what it generates down here is the script, the PowerShell script, to create the network drive in your Windows. So I'll click on copy to clipboard. So this is this PowerShell script has gone to my clipboard, and I've, I've left the other things at default Active Directory. I mean that would be used by your organisation uh, most likely um, if you are um, Active Directory based. But I'm just using this storage account key, which is something something that Azure creates and is copied across into this um, script. So once that's done, what you then do is go into PowerShell. 
I use PowerShell IC, which has got a little interfacey stuff. I'll paste the clipboard. So I'm running this script in, Power, in PowerShell and um, uh, it's good um, to sort of look at things like this. You can see how the script's put together. You can see where the, the drive letter is there, that dash name T. And you could just change it to what you like if, if you want. Press enter and it executes the script. So this is on my Windows, uh, my own um, Windows 10 box. It says successful. There's a T there, which is good. Uh, there's uh, nothing in um, there at the moment in that drive, and um, uh, that it's picked up, and um, it's given me a sort of root um, URI there. But we don't have to worry about any of that because I'll minimise that, and then just bring across Windows Explorer. So here's Windows Explorer. And look what it has here, Drive T. I Azure just go file share um, with this storage. And when I click on Drive T, there's my just data. Click on my just data, there's my battlefields. So you can see it's just part of your normal Windows Explorer, it's Drive T. Let's minimize this. Let's just bring up QGIS and add that vector data set from my drive D. So let's go to drive D, which is data, battlefields, let's open and just add it. This is a, a particular, um, this is BNG data, so it'll do a um, transform that I need, conversion. Don't worry about that, it's just projection. And there we are. There are my battlefields and they are coming from Azure storage. If I click on the battlefields, it's a normal layer. There's all my data. So there it is. And when you go to properties and click on information, you'll see it says T, my just data, battlefields. And so you can see that is Azure storage feeding off a just a drive letter straight into my QGIS client. Very, very straightforward, but you need to, you need to use the PowerShell. That's, that's the um, best. Actually, there's, there is another way, but PowerShell is, is good. It's quick and it's easy to understand. Um, and it's um, efficient because you could use a script um, that was generated all this to, to maybe slightly reconfigure how you, how you wish um, persistence and things like that. But that's something for you to look at. So what happens in the browser, if I go back to the browser, what if I go into my just data and here's Battlefield and I delete and somehow accidentally gets deleted. Let's press delete. There it is. Do you want to delete the shape file? Yeah, I do. Look what happens. It knows specified resource may be in use by an SMB client network, um, file sharing client. So it knows it's open, you know, just, you know, because it's uh, it is indeed open in QGIS. Anyway, I hope you find that useful, and it's uh, something that you can use for any application, not just GIS. But as you can see, quite clearly, you can use a Azure storage account to um, serve up your geospatial data uh, very easily and uh, efficiently, and and in fact securely as well. I hope that is useful. Thank you.